It's another week here in Forza Horizon 5, meaning there is a brand new car for us to check out, and it's going to be this thing. This is the 2021 Lamborghini Aventador LP 780-4 Ultimate. This thing is absolutely absolutely stunning now we do have quite a few aventadors a lot of people are upset about that we do have quite a bit of aventadors in this game already as well as some of the aventador based models such as the Sion and other lamborghinis that of are of the nature um but this thing does rock 770 horsepower 531 foot pounds of torque it weighs 3858 pounds it has a 6.5 liter v12 engine which is insane all-wheel drive it s1 class 878 this car is a hypercar in the game of forza horizon 5 taking a walk this thing is amazing i love the wheels the wheels look really really cool right they're blacked out but it, they look nice i love the little flag as well the italian or right it's, it's the italian flag right there i do love this gray with like red acting i think this is such a beautiful spec version of the aventador dual outlet single tipped exhaust over here on the back end of the vehicle it looks, it looks good, dude. I mean, it looks like an Aventador, obviously. We do have access to every single door that opens in this game. So, let's check out the front. Now, we do have quite a bit of space inside of there. You could, you could probably fit, what, a couple bodies? No, 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 not a couple bodies, sorry. Maybe, like, one body. You can fit, I want to say, maybe, like, what, five gallons of milk in there, comfortably? Five gallons of milk it is, if you're taking this thing grocery shopping. Coming over to the back, we do have this active aerodynamic spoiler that does come up uh, every so now and then, which is amazing. So if you're up to speed, it'll come up. Look at the freaking Lamborghini V12. Looking stunning. Carbon fiber bracing everywhere. Carbon fiber. Ooh, what's over here? Uh, okay. Not sure what that is. Maybe coolant, probably. It looks good, dude. I like it. I absolutely love the engines in the freaking Lamborghinis. I think they look really, really cool. Sitting inside of the Lamborghini Ultimate, you do have Alcantara everywhere. So you have Alcantara on the steering wheel, Alcantara on the dash. Everything looks really, really good. Ultimate on the seats. Look at that. Bucket seat and a half. Is that a fire extinguisher on the passenger side? What is that? I think that's a fire extinguisher. That is really cool. Lamborghini embroidered into the dash itself right above the glove box. Um, you have your Lamborghini-esque buttons over here. Okay, so everything that you need to know about your buttons and your, and your like front lift and your, I guess your windows, all the switches are in the middle, which is really, really cool and easy. Actually, wait, what's over there? I don't know what's over there. I can't really see from where I'm at, but uh, everything is accessible nonetheless. I love the doors, dude. The way the doors open, looking snazzy. I'm going to do a sound check of the engine. Three, two, one, and go. Okay. So it does sound like a reused engine note from the other Lamborghinis that we do have in the game already. But aside from that, it still sounds good. We're here at the Horizon Mexico circuit with the Lamborghini Ultima. This thing is a hypercar, so we are against other hypercars. So, honestly, 8th place starting, that's fine. Let's see what this thing can do though. So this thing does have all-wheel steering at low speeds. At low speeds, it does have all-wheel steering, so that's going to help us a little bit in some of the tighter corners. But when it comes to top speed, or like higher speed corners, the rear-wheel steering is not really going to work all that much. We are already in second place, though. Holy crap. Oh, the brakes! I, I dipped into the dirt, and my brakes completely failed. Oh, that's going to mess up our steering a lot, dude. Oh, that's upsetting spaghetti right there. All right, in third place. What are you doing, you stupid Ital design stupid car? He spun out, too. Oh my god, yeah, the brakes. So, I do need to upgrade brakes. Maybe some better tires will help us around corners a little bit better, but uh, stock form seems okay. We're in second place now. See if we can catch up to first in the next lap. Oh, hold up, hold up. Already about to pass them. First place, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Moving on to the third lap, we are in first place, completely obliterating the competition right now. Holy shoot, here we go. Alright, Lamborghini honestly is pretty good. The corners, it does suck. Oh, it does suck as I, you know, completely slam into the corner. Um, yeah, so in corners, it does suck. The brakes does suck. But I think a little bit about that has to deal with the first time that I smacked the wall in this race, which was earlier uh, in the first lap, which is very, very unfortunate to say the least. But the brakes, the brakes were okay. But I think it is the fact that I dipped the tire into the dirt and it didn't let me stop fast enough into that first uh, corner. Regardless of our mishap, we still managed to get first place with the Lamborghini Ultimate from 2021. Let's take this thing to the upgrade shop and throw some upgrades to this thing. 
We're at the upgrade shop. Let's see what kind of conversions we can do. So we have the racing B12, which is a little bit less in horsepower. I'm going to leave the stock uh, powertrain. I'm going to leave it in stock drivetrain as well. I'm going to turbo this thing, though. It's going to give us a little bit more power, a little bit more juice. Uh, Force error on the front. Sucks. Force error on the back. Sucks. Not going to mess with any of that. Let's go over to tires. Let's do semi-slicks. Uh, 285 on the front. Okay, that's that's pretty good. With a 365 in the back, that is massive. We do have track with spacing option. Options, sorry. So we are going to be rocking that. Coming over to platform and handling, we do not have any brake upgrade options for this vehicle, which is sucking a little bit. Uh, we don't have any race suspension either. So we only have rally and drift. Not going to mess with that. And a robot's front and back then. And let's do a full weight reduction minus 406 pounds. So maybe that'll help us a little bit better with uh, braking and cornering, hopefully. But the fact that we don't have brake upgrades does suck a lot. Installing the setup, we're putting out 1,153 horsepower. We weigh 3,538 pounds. We're at S2 class 948. We have quite a bit of factory paint options for this 2021 Lamborghini Ultima. Let's see. We have the normal gray with red. Oh, what the heck is it? It's like a burnt orange. My eyes like can't process that. It looks really, really good. What the heck? That looks really nice. We have an all white spec version, which looks cool with the black wheels. Oh, this blue. Is it like a, that's a matte color right there. It's matte, but it like reflects a little bit. That looks sick. I like that color to be honest with you. I really dig this color. Ooh. Okay. Like the, like a purple, like a sort of dark magenta, if anything. No, magenta is super bright. We have an all black or is that like a lime green? Not lime green. Sorry. It's like a really, really dark green to me. Unless it's just black, then whatever. We have a yellow. A matte yellow. Okay, we have a red. We have like the silverish white type color. Honestly, I dig the blue. This color looks so good to me. Whoops, my bad. This color looks so good. Like, I don't know why. I like how it, re it reflects the light a little bit, even though it's matte. I like this color. We're back at Horizon Mexico Circuit with the upgraded Lamborghini. Oh, wheel spin. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, this thing's quick, dude. What the frick? 160 across the line from a launch. Oh, the Porsches are having some trouble back here. Oh, smacking into a, what is that, Sion? Oh, can y'all chill? Why y'all smacking into me so much? Jeez. All right. 160 again across the, across the straight. This Rimok is pissing me off a little bit. There we go. Up the inside. Oh, here we go. Second place already with the Lamborghini Ultima. All right, the brakes. Ooh, the brakes are kind of touchy. So they do work, even though there's not a brake upgrade option for this in the game. However, the brakes do work with that weight reduction that we finished taking off of it. All right, second place. Let's see if we can get first place, though. Moving on to the third lap. First place currently, 180 miles an hour across that straight right there. Absolutely insane. Oh, God, turn, please. Oh, a little bit of a scrape off the, uh, off the corner back there, but it's fine. It is absolutely fine. Here we go. All right, 170. 180 across the second straight. Oh, brakes. Come on. There we go. Oh, a little bit of a smack there, but it's absolutely fine. Didn't really damage too much there. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. All right, second gear. Oh, a little bit of a slide out there. Power slide there. We're kind of actually leaving the pack in the dust, if you will. Like, there's nobody really next to us, and I think that's very, very good for the Lamborghini Ultima. Now, this thing still suffers a little bit in corners, right? Since it is all-wheel drive, all-wheel drive is just naturally going to suck in corners. But aside from that, in a straight line, this thing is absolutely insane. 150 across the finish line. We're going to take it in first place. We're at the highway going to do a top speed test with the Lamborghini 2021 Aventador Ultima. 3, 2, 1, and go. Launch this thing. Wheel spinning like crazy. Here we go. Third, fourth, 130, fifth gear, 150 miles an hour already with the Lamborghini Ultima from 2021. Okay, 190, 200 miles an hour in sixth gear, going into seventh at 210 miles an hour. A little bit of rain, but that's fine. Shouldn't really affect us too much. Maybe in grip, but aside from that, I think we should be fine. 227, 228, we're, we're sort of like already top speeding ourselves out currently oh what the freaking traffic man the traffic is in the way dude traffic's in the way all right 229 uh 228 
Ooh, here we go, here we go. 230. Flat stretch coming up. 231. Yeah, it's 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 cruising at 231, actually. We're doing pretty fine. Like, it's not the fastest Lamborghini out there. Alright, trust me. It's not the fastest one. But it does look cool. The fact that we do have another Lamborghini event store, especially the ultimate in this game. That is insane. A lot of people, like I said, a lot of people are kind of upsetty spaghetti about it. But I'm not. I, I like it. Any car in this game, aside from some of the stupider versions of cars, I don't mind. 235, downhill, top speed. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Let's see if we can handle some corners, though, at this kind of speed. Since it is all-wheel drive, it's going to kind of suck. And it is raining, too, so that's going to, you know, detriment us a little bit more. Hold on. First corner, aside from messing up because that stupid car, first corner it handled... It handled well that first corner at 230 miles an hour. That is very, very impressive, dude. What the hell? That is super impressive, to say the least. Anyways, guys, this has been the Lamborghini Aventador 2021 Ultimate. This thing is absolutely insane. Definitely go recommend checking it out. All you have to do to bang this thing out is come over here to the festival playlist, bang out 20 points on the summer season, and the Lamborghini Aventador. Uh, sorry. Lamborghini Aventador... And the Lamborghini Aventador from 2021 will be yours. Next week, we're going to be getting the BW SP2 from 1976. Not too excited about this one. But if you are, come over here to the channel and check it out with me. If you guys do want to see what I'm up to outside of Instagram, definitely go follow me over there. Link will be in the description down below. Aside from that, I want to thank you all so much for watching, tuning in. Truly appreciate all the support. It really means the world to me. Thanks a ton for watching. Try to make your day a great day.